Good morning. Happy Valentine's Day. It's not very happy yet. Oh, it's shoveling. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta go to work all day. Yeah, me too. Oh, my head hurts so bad now. What are you doing? Who, me? Oh, her? I love you. I love you too. Don't make me shovel anymore. Mm hmm? Don't make me shovel anymore. Okay. Uh, I still have half the driveway to do. Yeah. I was out there for 45 minutes already. I'm only half done. Yeah. But I didn't have to do what was plowed into the end of the driveway because our neighbor's the shit. If I had to do that, I'd be out there literally for like four hours. Oops. <laughs> we managed to dig ourselves out. I definitely just drove into the snowbank. Oh. My bad. I, uh, my arms feel like jello right now. Don't I was that. shoveling like 85,000 tons of snow. <laughs> Woo! Bless you. <coughs> Your sneeze is so startling. <laughs> If the old man sneeze already. I swear to God, you sneezed one time and I was like, Whoa! like, it scared me so bad. Yeah, so I'm off to work. <sighs> Can't say I'm thrilled. I don't wanna work. I, I just, just wanna, wanna stay Valentine in. all day. You wanna what? I wanna Valentine all day. Yeah, Valentine's and you forgot about it. I didn't forget about it, I just didn't have time to plan. I mean, anything. I work all day, so like, what can we really do? Yeah. But yay for pay and equality. You know, the roads aren't that bad. So if you would like to get me a small gift, I would be accepting of that gift. Love you. Bye. Bye. So Jeff just picked me up from work and he was cute. We didn't really decide to do anything on Valentine's Day because I work. But he went to Indigo and got me a book of love poems by Pablo, how do you say that? Pablo Neruda? Yeah. Which is super cute. <laughs> and this little book of like, I love you puns. It's all of you. <laughs> and it's funny because we both opened it up to the same page that was, um, I've loved with the love that's more than love. What is it? Love is a... Uh, a love with a love that's more than love. By Edgar Allan Poe. Yeah. Oh, like, how cute is this? I saw that you were perfect, and so I loved you, and then I saw that you were not perfect, and I loved you even more. <laughs> Love. <laughs> I'm just gonna fucking cry in this car tonight. <laughs> to the Edgar Allan Poe one, and, and um, that was just like, yeah, I'm buying this. <laughs> I kind of have to now. It's just karma at this point, or kismet at this point. Love isn't something that you find. Love is something that finds you. Mm-hmm. I know by experience that the poets are right. Love is eternal. Happy Valentine's Day, sweetie. <laughs> That's just a little rock that says you rock my world, but look <laughs> at his little face. <laughs> Emma Watson said you get to choose who you love and who you give your heart to. I give my heart to you. Except not in the literal sense, because that would kill me. That says fancy a spoon. <laughs> Yeah, I do. But I so now for Valentine's Day, um, I'm gonna take Jeff on a majestic date to the McDonald's drive-thru to get whatever his heart desires. Um, that's the best way that I can is there provide. Like a my Valentine's Day promo at McDonald's. <laughs> yeah, there is a Valentine's promo at McDonald's. Okay. Buy one, get one sandwich, baby. Red Big Valentine's Day. <laughs> um, and then we're gonna go through the car wash because. When you're 30 and you've been married, this is how you spend Valentine's Day. <laughs> this is really cute, babe. Seriously, though, thank you. Happy Valentine's Day. It's really nice. I have to get you something, and what I can get you at 10 o'clock at night is McDonald's drive-thru, so. You don't have to get me anything. I just wanted you to know that I love you. Well, I worked all day, so I couldn't get you anything, but I'm getting you McDonald's. Accept my love. Okay, I will accept your Thank you. Your I'll, to show my love. I'll accept your McLove. Except my McLovin? <laughs> McLovin, yeah. Will you accept my McMuffin? I will accept your McLovin. <laughs> oh. You want my, you want my McGriddle, baby? That joke was just super bad. <laughs> Please don't kill me in my sleep. <laughs> you know. 
whatever it will be will be Sarah, Sarah. Okay, Sarah, Sarah. See, now that's funny because whatever Michael Sarah's in that movie. Be, Michael Sarah's in that movie, bitch. That joke was too advanced for you. Okay, Sarah, Sarah, Sarah. Whoa, that's a big snowbank. When the moon hits your eye like a big pizza pie, that's, that's some more. <laughs> In the scene, in the scene, on and on, you and me, got some more of Ooh, bitch. They're taking you to the car wash, bitch. I fucking love the car wash. Did you get rainbow foam? Is there rainbow foam? I don't know. Oh, man. Oh, shit. There's a cardi in there. Oh, shit. It's coming for you. Oh, shit. I don't know if this was planned for Valentine's Day or what. But like words cannot describe, babe, how much I actually love going through the drive-thru. Drive-thru? Car wash. Going to the car wash. Roll that back <laughs> up! <laughs> I'm just teasing. No, but it's something that like me and my stepdad used to do together. And it's like something I just, I cherish and love going through the car wash. Well, I'm hoping that what's shaking it's my car- It's not rainbow foam. In the wheels. Ooh, car wash ASMR. for being a friend thank you for being a friend travel down the road and back again your heart is true you're a pal and, and a confidant. confidant and if you feel a party he invited everyone you knew you would see the biggest gift would be for me and the card attached would say thank you for being a fan do, 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 do. <laughs> you're welcome thank you i love you <laughs> no joke i'm not kidding jeff the one day i was feeling like kind of in the dumps and i found the five hour loop oh, no. of the golden girls theme song and I'm not joking when I said I listened to a solid about hour and a half of it. <laughs> so we got a spicy habanero chicken and a spicy jalapeno chicken. So we're gonna see if the habanero chicken is actually spicier than the jalapeno chicken. It's only because um, they didn't have any of the ghost pepper. They didn't have any ghost pepper chicken. Um, but we're gonna see if McDonald's actually like spice shit up a bit. Because it's Valentine's Day, so it's time to get spicy. spicy. <laughs> I mean, it's not like intense. It's not so spicy. No, this I can't one. even taste the jalapeno. That one's much better. That yeah. one has much more spice. Get that bite right there, yeah. It doesn't have any flavor. No. Like this it's is pretty thing. bland. I love hot sauce, but I don't get the hot sauces that are just like stupid hot burn your tongue. I get the hot sauces that actually have spice and flavor to them mm -hmm. and then add a little bit of heat. My favorite one actually I'm out of it's, um, you get it at... Do you want this one? I'll take this one. It's fine. Okay. Um, you get it at Pepper Palace called, mm -hmm. the, I think it's called Black Rose or something like that. It is the bomb. I love it, but I'm all out and it's expensive. It's like 16 bucks a bottle. So. This, I can see how this premise could be interesting. Mm -hmm. I miss Chelsea. And Chelsea and well, Julie. It's not well written, but like I really like the tone of Crystal Sutherland's writing. Chelsea However, looks good here though. Book, to me, just kind of <laughs> I like her shirt. Was 
exploiting mental illness as a plot device. Jeff likes your shirt. Of, like, actually respect. I like your shirt too. Characters that have I don't phobias. Want that shirt. I know this just really Jeff didn't wants work it. for me. This is my second book. <laughs> hey guys, just the last update of what I've read today. Sorry, today wasn't very exciting. Um, I worked my ass off today. Uh, Thursdays at my work are shipment day, which means there's like consistently something to do all day. And it's like, I'm the kind of person that likes leaving my workplace knowing I've done everything. So like to put in perspective, I walked like 16,000 steps in my work alone, uh, which is like 10 kilometers. But before work, I did get a chance to finish A Heart and a Body in the World by Deb Coletti. And this is absolutely five stars. Um, I knew right away when I started reading it that it would be, but this book got to me, the writing was, amazing and i think honestly had i not read this in public in the cafe that like i would have cried <laughs> a lot more um around the ending but it's just so layered and like there's a hard-hitting storyline obviously and then there's a really cute storyline and this is a road trip book really like even though she is running and it's over like 2700 miles it's it feels and reads like a road trip book and so it is the perfect mix of stuff i enjoy hard-hitting contemporary with like a serious topic um amazing family dynamic road trip like good writing you know it's um truly one of my favorite books that i've ever read and uh this is up there as the favorite book that i've read well it is my favorite book that i've read this year i believe um obviously i really do like my horror manga but in terms of like a contemporary sort of more traditional quote-unquote format um that is by far one of my favorite books that I've ever read and my favorite so far this year. So it's going to take a lot to surpass that, I'll be honest. And now I'm kind of like worried for any other book that I go to read this year because that one is just, um, it's incredible. And be sure if you are interested in this book to know that there are some harder subjects um, in this and you don't really want to be spoiled for the ending um and what that sort of traumatic event in this character's life is because the book sort of suggests different things all along the way and then you finally discover what it is and it's very i want to say satisfying but it's very um reward like not even rewarding it's impactful i guess is the word i'm looking for to finally find out what this character has gone through like it's a true case of like who hurt you and let me know as a reader you care about this character so much it's it's amazing like i said the family dynamic um gr the grandpa i now i might cry um i loved my grandfather with like my entire heart and soul and um he was amazing like amazing amazing man and so the second you throw an rv and a grandpa in the book i went this is gonna get to me and it did my grandpa had a big rv when i was a kid and we used to like tour around and go to campsites and stuff so like while he wasn't an italian grandpa um there was one morning that i remember um you know he claimed that there was like no food in the rv and he obviously snuck out at some point and or packed it and hit it but he hid this like buckwheat buckwheat pancake mix and he put like he made like blueberry pancakes and like i can remember like because i slept on like the sunken table bed that like only fits a kid you know and i can remember him at like the little kitchenette thing like making blueberry pancakes and like not knowing where he got these ingredients it was just this like truly magical moment of like how did grandpa get these uh blueberry pancakes but so that's like a memory i hold dear so like like i said the cute part of this is the grandpa you know and so i um it gave me good memories but yeah that book made me emotional in a lot of ways so there's that <laughs> and then i um i started reading or listening to the audiobook of forever interrupted my heart can't take this right now so i am about 41 pages into that and i had to stop it because i just i couldn't take it uh the first like there's no spoilers here really 
Oh yeah, it's on the back, but basically they're newlyweds, like they got married a week and a half ago and he goes out to get fruity pebbles and dies. <laughs> and that's the first chapter and I like, I, I, it's like one of my biggest fears, so I got emotional listening to this too. So I have to put that down. So instead tonight before I go to bed, I'm going to um, read the field guide to the field guide to the North American teenager um, by Ben Philippe and hope that this is lighter because I, um, I need something lighter because I can't handle my husband die stories right now. <laughs> so yeah. Um, but I'm gonna end the vlog here. I hope you guys uh, are doing good. Obviously, I didn't get a lot of reading in today because I worked, but I'm about to cuddle up in bed and uh, read some more. I, I switched my shift, so I don't work at 9 tomorrow, so I don't have to get up at 5. <laughs> Bless. But I do work 1 to 9 again, which is not the greatest. Um, but I'm gonna try to get as much done as possible, and uh, yeah, I do hope you guys are doing good, and until tomorrow's video, I will talk to you soon. Bye.